Concorde Supersonic Passenger Jet Airliner Concorde was a cooperation project between the United Kingdom and France, who signed a treaty in 1962 to design and build a supersonic transport, inspired by Chuck Yeager's 1947 blast through the sound barrier. The USA and the Soviet Union also planned their own version of a supersonic transport in competition. Concorde made its first test flight on the 2nd of March 1969 from Toulouse, France, but it had been beaten two months before by the Soviet Tu-144, which also resembled the Concorde in appearance. On the 21st of January 1976, the first commercial flights began with Air France and British Airways. Concorde had a cruising speed of 2,179 kilometers or 1,354 miles per hour, which was Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. A New York to London flight would only take three hours, therefore making it much faster than a regular commercial flight. Eventually, flights would be limited between London, Paris and New York due to the costs to operate Concorde. For example, the cost of a ticket in 1996 was $7,574 for London. Concorde measured nearly 204 feet or 62.1 meters in length with a wingspan of 83 feet, 8 inches, or 25.5 meters. This could change slightly when in flight due to the heat generation, and the aircraft was painted in a special reflective white paint to reduce the heat. The aircraft featured a drooped nose, a design feature that was necessary, so the pilot's vision wasn't restricted during landing and takeoff because of its high angle of attack. On the 25th of July, 2000, a Concorde from Paris to New York crashed, killing all 109 people on board. The cause was a burst tire that ruptured a fuel tank, leading it to erupt into flames. Concorde would be retired in 2003 by Air France and British Airways due to financial losses. Because development was so costly, Concorde was not financially profitable. However, it ensured that Europe would be ahead in aerospace development. Subscribe for more history videos. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing. And thank you for being part of this amazing community.